No matter what you think, I have always been with you. ABC Scandal will air its final episode on Thursday, marking not only the end of the political soap, which has run for seven seasons, but also the end of the Shonda Rhimes era on broadcast television as the powerhouse producer has moved over to Netflix. It's worth noting that when Scandal, which stars Kerry Washington, debuted in April 2012, it was only the second broadcast television drama ever top-lined by an African-American woman. Over 120 episodes later, we prepare to say goodbye to the show while paying homage to its impressive legacy and the incredible impact Rhymes has had on broadcast television as a whole. Rhymes and Washington helped usher in a new and overdue era of inclusivity on the small screen that broke barriers and proved viewers wanted to see themselves reflected in primetime scripted storytelling. Shows including ABC's own Blackish, Fresh Off the Boat, Speechless, and FX's Atlanta, Stars, Upcoming Vita, and countless others had easier roads to the screen thanks in part to the trailblazing path set by Scandal. During a recent conference call, Rhymes told a small group of reporters, including The Hollywood Reporter, now it feels very normal and obvious that women of color can lead shows, so hopefully that is something that Scandal has done. Hopefully we've created a world in which we've stopped seeing these characters on television and it's a magical anomaly that they're there and there's an otherness to them. Hopefully we've made a dent in that. Scandal has enjoyed its huge success thanks in part to Washington's idea to have the cast live tweet and create a community of so-called gladiators. It also didn't hurt to have high profile fans like Barack and Michelle Obama and Oprah Winfrey. That helped ratings spike for season two when the show added Scott Foley as Jake for the back half of the season as Rhymes and her team of gladiators created a love triangle for Olivia, played by Washington, and President Fitzgerald Grant, aka Tony Goldwyn. Love triangles and fabulous outfits aside, the series always had one central theme since day one, how the Oval Office and the lust for power corrupts. In fact, when the series premiered, Olivia had already rigged an election to put Fitz in office. Over its seven seasons on the air, Scandal has explored storylines that range from the outrageous to ones that ultimately had to be scrapped as they struck too close to reality. For example, in season seven, Rhymes and Producers ditched a storyline about Russians hacking the election after that became a global headline in the wake of Donald Trump's surprising victory over Hillary Clinton in the presidential election. Says Rhymes, it's always been my contention that the Oval Office in our show was a place that corrupted anybody who came near it and the closer you came, the more corrupt it made you and the more damaged it made you. Olivia started out as a character that we knew who has very much believed in how important this particular kind of power was and how molding it and being a part of it was and we watched her, like everybody else, become absolutely corrupted by it and make all the same mistakes that everybody else makes to get what she wants from it. As for what Rhymes wanted from the series itself, she confesses that the season six finale, which portrayed the first woman elected president of the United States, was how she originally imagined the series would end. We basically did what I had planned to be all of season seven in the finale of last season's Scandal, so Thursday's series finale is very different, Rhymes says. For those watching on Thursday night as the show wraps up, it's important to note that while the series has had a number of storylines that brushed up against reality, Rhymes asserts that the finale is less about making a statement about politics in DC than it is about completing Olivia's journey. We've been talking about a political world that I hope no longer exists or that I hope begins to cease to exist at some point. We've been telling a story this entire season and heading toward an end. And the finale is really about finishing telling the story. And although Olivia's evolution will be completed, Rhymes notes that the finale will, in part, be left open-ended. Yes, the story is wrapped up, and yes, the audience gets to imagine some of what happens next for the character, she says. As fans prepare to move forward in the wake of the series finale, Rhymes takes a look back at her incredible trajectory. This is where I've spent my entire career, and this is where I learned to write television, and it's the only game that I know, Rhymes says. I've been incredibly fortunate. The Scandal series finale airs Thursday at 10pm on ABC. Head to THR.com slash Scandal for full coverage of the finale and tell us what are some of your favourite memories from seven seasons of Scandal? How do you want the show to leave off and what will you miss most about the series? Let us know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.